Welcome to Creative Living with Bren Haas. Today we connect, share, and grow with Shelly Chavez of Swan Creek Candle in Vermilion, Ohio. Shelly gives us a tour of her new shop and we even got to chat about her beloved succulents that made the trip from California to Ohio. We're live! Hey Shelly! Hi! <laughs> Hi, Bryn. <laughs> I'm always like, don't move around a lot. And then I go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just get so excited when we go live. <laughs> yeah, totally. Boop, boop. Live on right. Bren Haas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I'm glad to see you. You're alive. Are you keeping yeah. warm? Yeah, I'm totally warm. I have the heat cranked up all the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually um, where, where I am here in Vermilion. Uh, Cleveland gets a lot more snow and cold okay. than we do because of the shape of the lake. Okay. So, so it's actually, it's been like 30s, 20s, and you know, it gets that cold in Los Angeles. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not, um, it doesn't snow that much here. It's, yeah. it's sort of rare. Um, but yeah, no, I'm enjoying it. I love it. I love Ohio. I feel like I was meant to be here. <laughs> Very cool. Well, we're happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. And you're an ambassador, right? You're for Ohio? I should be. <laughs> <laughs> I think I used their hashtag enough. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm so, I'm so excited. And you're, so you're there by the fireplace there in your new shop. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you have to tell us, why did you move from LA to Ohio? Well, we were presented uh, last year with this opportunity to be the first licensed Swan Creek candle store in the country. Um, and so my, it was one of these things where we needed to make a, a decision very quickly. We came here to Vermilion. Uh, we didn't even see the whole town. We just saw the downtown historic district here and the store and the building. And we said, yes, 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 yes. And <laughs> our bags and left. Um, I, I, I have, I didn't even tell all my friends. I just, I left. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here I am. And I've been here since August, uh, just learning as much as I can about the business. So I've been sort of offline and off the grid. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. The store opened two weeks ago and you know, things are going great. Life is grand. Very cool. And you, uh, that is beautiful. The buildings are amazing, aren't they down there? Yes. Yeah. We actually live in a historic, uh, building. Um, and it's all brick. It's, hmm. it's like a dream come true. Very really cool. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And you know, I watched, uh, over the, I think it was autumn when you moved, right? Roughly. Yeah. So uh, I was watching your little plants. Like you, you oh. brought some of your little succulents with you. Yeah. A lot of them, right? A lot of them. Yes. I have I, a whole carload of them. <laughs> <laughs> My husband was very nice to bring them for me, loading the car with, he had yeah. cactus pricks all over him by the time he got oh, no. here. <laughs> so they're doing good. You know, it's my first time indoor gardening with succulents um, and my cacti, but I have them under lights and okay. they seem to be doing okay. Yeah. And I had them outside all the way up until late November. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah, and they were thriving. My aloe actually started flowering uh, upstairs indoors, so this is all new wow. to me. Yeah, That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's it's a whole new gardening zone. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I just kind of wondered how they would react going from you know the California kind of uh, you where you're at, where it was very dry, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, you know, bringing them to Ohio, I mean, we're right. kind of humid and, you know, we get a lot of mm -hmm. precipitation, right? <laughs> you know, what's interesting is that the, it's, I'm gardening with the same soil that I was in Los Angeles. We have clay soil here by the lake. Right. So it's almost the same as uh, gardening, well, my, you know, minus the, the winter temperatures. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, it's, uh, it, 
my succulents love, they were thriving when I had them outside. In the, That's in pretty the cool. Home. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm excited. I'm excited for you. You've got a lot going on. Um, I, you know, I feel bad. I don't really know too much about Swan Creek, even though I've, I've got some of their candles. They've been around forever. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that company or? Absolutely. Um, I just uh, want to quickly preface by saying I don't represent Swan Creek in any way, shape or form. We are a privately owned store. Um, so I, I'm not speaking on behalf of sure, Swan Creek, sure. but I can tell you a bit about them. Mm -hmm. uh, the company um, started off with paraffin candles. Oh. And uh, paraffin is, it's sort of equivalent to burning a tire in your home. And you get this black soot and the candles don't burn evenly. And in order to make uh, shaped candles, you know, uh, you, they have to be paraffin. <clears throat> okay. So all none of our um, candles are uh, without a container. Um, so the benefits of soy, number one, uh, you're supporting all of the farmers, all of the soy comes from farmers here uh, in the United States. So, you know, we're supporting local farmers and such. Um, but when you take a paraffin candle versus a soybean candle mm -hmm. and burn them side to side, you will see the difference and notice the difference immediately. Yeah. Um, again, you're, it, they burn unevenly and you're getting this soot and it's, it's bad for your indoor environment. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. As you can imagine. Right. So Swan Creek uh, went a green about, Oh gosh, 20 some odd years ago. Mm. And it started because uh, there was a presentation at the university of Indiana mm -hmm. And they were talking about uh, using soy wax on skis. And so um, Ann Albright, the owner of Swan Creek Candle, said, you know, gosh, this soy, uh, I can really, I can use this in my candles. And so they patented it and uh, they've been making soy candles ever since. And they were just named Best Candle in Women's Journal over huh. like four of the major candle companies. That is really cool. I love it. <laughs> They've got a great selection too, and uh, the scents are wonderful. Um, and plus, being I don't know, did you burn a lot of candles in California? <laughs> I did. Oh, you did. Okay. I've always been. A, you know what's funny, Brent, is I've always been a candle person. I've been burning candles since I was like twelve years old, <laughs> and uh, and I. It's just it's so funny how you know my husband's. Uh, uh, family is that's the, cool. the head of this candle company, you know, right. <laughs> I didn't plan it this way, but it, it all I love out. it. No, yeah. the reason I say that is because you've been in Ohio enough, like today, we'll be lucky if we see the sun. <laughs> so it's always nice to have that nice little, you know, candle going. It's, it's very yeah. peaceful. Well, and they're, and they're, they're all intensely fragrant. You can really smell these candles, yeah, yeah. you know, a lot of the times you light a candle and then you just, you don't really smell it, but these, yeah. they're all very intensely fragrant and you know, they have a herbal line so you can get your lavender lemongrass candles. They have a coffee line, roasted espresso. Mm. So there's a <laughs> gourmet line. So it's nice. really cool. You know, I, I, I really, um, feel strongly about the product um you know so much so that we went ahead and bought the store yeah, so. <laughs> very cool so um in your shop there i see other things back there you don't just have candles yeah so uh one of the things i wanted to introduce specifically was garden decor because i'm a gardener um home decor um and this behind me this beautiful art glass i don't know if you can see it can yes see it? gorgeous uh, that's uh, handmade in mayfield heights ohio nice um and it's you put a tea light in there Ooh. gorgeous so yeah we got a couple things going on here garden decor home decor all kinds of good stuff we got soap my mother-in-law's soap which I'll show you here. Oh, I love this. Look at that. This is um, plant-based soap, 100% natural. She uses several essential oils in, in only one bar. Nice. Uh, she's had reports from people saying their eczema has gone away, their psoriasis. Um, this is kind of like a, 
a miracle soap. And uh, my mother-in-law, Beth, she actually started making it because somebody's coming to the door. Oh, no. <laughs> she actually started Do making this. it. Do you need now, to go? No, no, they walked away. Okay. I think they just wanted to know if we were Checking open. Checking the hours. <laughs> Checking the hours. Yeah, exactly. Um, you're getting yeah. close, though. Do you open at 10? No, we open at 11. Okay. He just, he waved to my cat and then walked away. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ohioans. They're friendly to everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, sorry. Uh, she actually started making this soap because she had a type of a skin condition that doctors couldn't diagnose. Hmm. And she was having a really hard time finding a soap on the market and lotion uh, that she that she could use on her skin, so she started making her own soap, and uh, she thought, you know, why not try selling this? Mm -hmm. And it, she's been pretty successful at it. Yeah. She's got her little workshop in the basement of the Swan Creek in Dundee, Michigan, mm -hmm. and she sells it there. And now this is she's selling it here. Very so we, cool. Yeah, yeah. There's not too many places where you can get it, but uh, you can at yeah. Swan Creek Candle Vermilion. <laughs> All right. I have to get up there because I have some dry spots just because I always, you know, I always have my hands in water. And then, of course, I still garden in the dome. And so yeah. it's always in the soil and it, it likes to just suck yeah. that moisture out of there. And I get yeah. dry. <laughs> well, this is great for that. This, yeah. this, this soap is so, the lather that you get on it, it's unlike any other soap. I've had people come in, I give them a little sample and they're, they're back, you know, yeah. within the day. Where's that soap? So <laughs> That's so stuff. cool. Yeah. So we got the, you know, the soybean candles, we've got the plant-based soap. Uh, and so, you know, we're going natural here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and then, um, do you think, um, do you think you'll get your, plants going again like will those yeah yes I miss my garden so much I miss gardening <laughs> oh my gosh uh, luckily they're all drought tolerant so they're pretty resilient plants but right. um yeah I have uh my all of my succulents under lights right now little by little I'm going to be introducing um you know terrariums miniature gardens all kinds of things I should have you know more stuff out definitely by spring Okay. Um, but yeah, just little by little, I'll be doing things here and there. Of and, course. Uh, yeah, so I'll have my little guild the garden section. I know. That's what, that's what my next question was. I'm like, are you going to keep doing the guild the garden? Because we yes, love yes, yes, yes. I just, I, I needed to put it on the back burner. Oh, yeah. And, you know, juggling the two yeah. would have been impossible. Uh, I've never been a business owner in my life. So this is all new to me. So I kind of, you know, had to... It's just the guild of the garden had to take a back seat for a minute, but uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I plan on continuing the show. Um, I plan on selling my design. So yeah, lots Yay. of good stuff. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, much fun. <laughs> so yeah. um, uh, is this shop going to be online at all or people have to come to Ohio to, you know, it's funny. I, I get that question a lot. Uh, we'll probably have a website. I don't know that we'll be taking web orders. And I know that okay. sounds crazy, but we get a lot of traffic here in Vermilion yeah. because we're a vacation town. Yeah. So we actually get a lot of people coming in our stores. So, yeah. you know, as far as the website goes, I, maybe in future, maybe, but right, I right. okay with the amount of people that come in just visiting uh, Vermilion. Sure. Uh, cool. We're steps away from the lake. We've got all kinds of yeah. great restaurants here, so we have con a constant flow of traffic. Yeah, it's a definite, a definite go-to place. It is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, uh, you know, they love their Swan Creek Candle. The stores uh, was an outlet store. Uh, it's been here for twelve years. So, um, you know, we get a lot of people coming in from Cleveland, uh, Sandusky, Huron. Um, all over uh, North Olmsted, Avon Lake, people come here yeah. and they visit the store and, um, you know, they would be very upset if uh, this <laughs> store was not no longer here. So I'm, I'm glad we were able to acquire it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And um, I liked your pictures when um, I wonder if that was the first time you saw the lake start to freeze over yes is that yes. cool the what photos were great cool. on your instagram you. i think yeah 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 i posted them to a couple places facebook okay <laughs> it's 
the it was seeing the lake freeze it's so funny because i was here in the summer and and i was like the lake is never gonna freeze the night lake is never gonna freeze it yeah. just seems like it would take so much for the lake to freeze you know so the mother erie is a beast yeah and so when it finally froze i went out there and took pictures immediately it's the most beautiful yeah. sight it's the most and, and the sunsets here in ohio as well by the way are the the most incredible sunsets ever. They are so yeah. gorgeous. I, my, they take my breath away. So cool. <laughs> the Ohio sunsets. And I've seen some of your photos that you post of, you know, <laughs> gorgeous. Yeah, out in the fields and stuff. I'm not, I love getting up to the lake though, or over. I go out yeah. that way quite a bit, actually. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Lots of cute little restaurants. Well, not lately. The winter, I've been busy. Yeah. But, um, You've got um, uh, Mulberry Creek yes. uh, Herb Farm. That I, I hope I said that right. Yeah, my Mulberry Creek. <laughs> One yeah. of my favorites. I don't want to get in trouble with the other garden centers. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> they're, they're all organic. You introduced me to yes. Mulberry Creek Farms. They're actually right in Huron. They're practically next door. Yeah. I, I got to go in there come spring. And I know. So definitely, you know, people make a road trip of it just straight up. I think you would take, uh, I always do the back roads because I like to look the barns, but yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, totally. I think you could take uh, the turnpike even, right? It's fairly easy out that way. Uh, the turnpike. You, you know, I, maybe I'm, that's too far north. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I'm not quite sure. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I know you're new out there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's no. an easy drive. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of cool places. People are constantly telling me about um, orchards nearby. Oh, and yeah. I, I live for near like four wineries here. Wow. Um, you think I'm in California. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> there's lots to do here. I love this town. Very cool. Awesome. So what do you got ahead here? I mean, you got something going on this weekend or anything? Yes. The <laughs> ice affair. Is this you know, we've got an incredible Main Street uh, organization here. Okay. So they do a really great job at bringing people to the town. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the events. It's the ice affair. And there's going to be ice sculptures all over the town. Um, there's going to be a dog ice sculpture in front of our <laughs> store. We're letting this uh, companion. It's a nonprofit. They train dogs to be companions for seniors, I believe. Yeah. And so we're going to have a little puppy ice sculpture in front of our <laughs> shop. And uh, they asked if it's okay if the puppies can come in if their paws get cold. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so we got that going on. <laughs> Apparently, this is a huge deal here in town. So I, you know, I, I look forward to doing some good business. The, that way. <laughs> the, ice, the ice sculpture, right? Is that what you're doing? Not the dog. <laughs> oh, no, no. The, the um, the I, there's going to be real dogs and a uh, dog. Oh, ice okay. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. I know the ice sculpture is a big thing here um, in the uh, north, you know, northwest area too. I'm a little farther west than you. Okay. Um, a couple of the towns they have a gentleman who comes in and does like a big carving, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 But only it's one. So I don't know if you have a couple of them that come in there. Yeah, there are several. There's going to cool. be an ice sculpture in front of every shop here in the downtown area. That's so, something to see. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really neat. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the event. Right, and it's a perfect weekend for that. Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, apparently, last year's ice affair wasn't yeah. very icy at all. <laughs> yeah, that so was going to say. We'll see, we'll see uh, this weekend's forecast. It'll be beautiful. So make sure you have lots of hot cocoa and coffee ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How we'll fun. Do. All right. Well, I should let you go. You got to get the store order. Do you want to? Do you want to walk around a little? Want to try oh, to do that before we leave? Or yeah, I could, okay. Let's I see how that works. Yes. Yes. I'll go. Oh, uh oh. It's already. okay. My big old thumb. <laughs> it's okay. I can. Okay. So let me uh, turn the phone around here. Okay. So. Yeah. No. The oh, look at that. Perfect. So I'm gonna go really slow. Tell me if I'm going too fast. That's good. Just keep it. Yeah, just pan a little. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to show you the art glass here that was behind me. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
Okay, so you're seeing everything okay? Yeah, I mean, it's a little pixely, but... Oh, okay. There, just well, let's... still for a minute. There you go. Okay. Now, I'm going to just wow. do a quick little walk to the to the back of the store just so you can kind of gauge. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, it gets a little wiggly though. Wow, look at that. You've got a lot of shelves there. <laughs> okay. That's a portion of the store. Um, uh -huh. there's, there's a front of the store as well with the, some window displays. So yeah. there's a, it's, I have a wonderful uh, wow. uh, space to get really creative here. So Yeah, a lot of work and it looks yeah. great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We've got, you know, there's something to do all of the time. There's always a project. I, I was just painting last night. Uh, I actually did a lot of the paint myself here in the store. So, so I'm cool. the painting queen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Very exciting. Well, you're so creative. So I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised. It looks so great. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Jen. I can't wait for you to visit and everyone yeah. else, please come to the store. Say hello. Totally. <laughs> so where would be the best place where people can find out about you and the shop uh, on the web? I started a Facebook page for the store. Um, you know, little by little, I'm putting it out there. And so you can find us on Facebook at Swan Creek Candle Vermilion. Uh, that's if you type in at Swan Creek Candle Vermilion, that should pop up. And uh, I'll be posting, you know, daily photos of can candles and all kinds of uh, fun stuff. Very cool. Make sure you get a nice sculpture on there this weekend, okay? Oh, yes, yes. I'll take pictures of the puppies, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. How fun. <laughs> but you don't, now, no puppy there. I saw your mascot yesterday when we talked. Yes, that's my little mask and yeah. mantle cat. <laughs> His name's Pierogi. He's our Polish treat. Uh, we, I found him in an alley. He just, he wasn't doing well one day. Uh, I went out there just to say hello to him because he would often, you know, sort of hang out outside and sure. kind of beg for food. Yeah. And so I went out one day and he just, he was like not in good shape. And I, I couldn't, being the animal lover that I am, I was like, I can't leave this cat out here. And it was already starting to get pretty cold. Um, yeah. So I took him to the vet and... Uh, yeah, he's my he's yeah. my little Paul Street now. <laughs> <laughs> and we can see pictures of him on your social media as well, right? Yes, yes. I actually he likes to hang out in the store display window, so I, <laughs> I take pictures of him when he's yeah. in there and such. And I'll I'll post photos. Awesome. Uh, All right. Well, I should let you go so you can get the store open. Thank you, Brent. Right. Thank you so much for having <laughs> me. Um, and uh, I really appreciate. Uh, you talking to me about the shop. Yay. Thanks for the tour. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Have, you too. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Yep. Be sure to connect with Shelly over on Facebook at Swan Creek Candle Vermilion. And of course, find links, photographs, and more great interviews on my website at brenhaas.com. <laughs>